Welcome back to Pentagram Prime, everybody. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing another problem from uh, Stuart's uh, cal Calculus uh, Early Transcendentals, 4th edition. Um, this one is uh, from the uh, section on radius of convergence. Uh, more on that in a moment. Um, anyways, uh, problem 33 on uh, page 745 um, <clears throat> spells out uh, basically... Um, it does an example involving Bessel's, um, a Bessel function of the first order, um, which is actually just a, uh, an infinite series. Oh, and I'm sorry, there should be a zero here. Um, this is one another of my rapid-fire uh, examples that I'm just doing to get caught up um, so I can do better material in the future. All right, so this is uh, J sub 1 of x, that's a function of the first order summed from n equal imaginary zero. Just there is no imaginary zero, but pretend it's there. Zero, um, n equal zero to infinity for uh, negative one to the n times x to the two n plus one divided by n factorial times n plus one factorial times two to the n plus one. And this is off of page uh, 745 in Stewart's Calculus Early Transcendentals, 4th edition. Uh, yes, worked very, very quick, this one. Um, so, whoa, that happened. Okay, um, so uh, we're going to use the, um, in order to determine the domain of this, um, and by that I mean for x, um, and of course, this comes out in the summation. Uh, we are going to use the uh, the ratio test limit n uh, as n approaches. I'm sorry. Wow, I'm having a bad night here. Uh, n approaches infinity of a sub, absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n. So um, using the ratio test and taking the uh, nth term from uh, <clears throat> j sub 1 of x, um, we get this thing. So a sub n plus 1 is up here on the top, and a sub n is down here on the bottom. We are using the absolute value signs for the, uh, for the ratio test, so we can lose the negative ones on top and bottom. Thought this is going to be simple by just snapping a photograph, but okay. So we're going to uh, zoom that out a bit. Okay. Um, hope you guys can see anything. All right. So when we take the uh, the top and the bottom here and we expand them, or we just uh, we take the bottom piece here and we invert it, um, we see that the uh, the x to the 2n plus 1 gets deleted out over here except for the factor of 2. Zoom in. Yeah. So the factor of 2 stays here for the x. Um, find that the two factorials in the denominator uh, you can just lose the factorial signs because if you divide um, n plus 1 factorial by n factorial, you're just left with n plus 1. And similar principles apply to uh, uh, n plus 2 factorial being divided by n plus 1 factorial, you're just left with n plus 2. So we're just going to lose the factorials, lose these two factorial terms, and we're just left with n plus 1 times n plus 2. And then factor of 2 over here, we have 2n plus 2 plus 1. Up here, we have 2n plus 1. So we scratch this whole thing out, and we lose the 2n exponent and the 1 exponent. And then we're going to come down here. Try to. What we're left with is uh, x squared divided by n plus 1 times n plus 2 times uh, 2 to the 2, which of course is 4, and I'll write that in a moment. 
Notice that x squared along with um, n as it approaches infinity and 2 squared. These are all positive terms, so we can lose the absolute value signs. We get up with, uh, we get x squared divided by n plus 1 times n plus 2 times 2 squared. And then um, if we pull if we pull the x squared and the 2 squared outside of the limit, then um, we're just left with uh, evaluating limit of uh, 1 divided by n plus 1 times n plus 2. And uh, I'm giving away the answer a little bit early by scrolling over the wrong place. Sorry. Almost there. Okay. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and evaluate the set limit um, and uh, I think it's pretty obvious it goes to zero because the end blows up and the other end blows up. Um, there's no mystery there. So really what we're left with is zero multiplied times x squared divided by four. It equals zero for all values, all real values of x that you could possibly put in there. So. Um, So J sub 1 uh, has been shown to be absolutely convergent for all values of x. And um, it works for um, all values of x on the on all real values of x. So the domain of J sub 1 of x is negative infinity to positive infinity. And uh, that's it. This is Pentagram Prime signing off.